So earlier this afternoon at a press conference, Nancy Pelosi was asked about the Joe Biden Tara Reid story. Now, I'm going to play you her response, at least an excerpt of it. But on the outset, I want to say that it was both pathetic and insulting to not only Tara Reid, but to every single person watching Nancy Pelosi's response. As far as uh, Biden is a concern, how do uh, Democrats square with the idea that, that they're essentially a uh, they're, they're standing by Biden, but they're using a comparatively different standard with, uh, with the Kavanaugh when, when he demanded a, uh, a investigation on Justice Kavanaugh when a very similar uh, allegation came out on him. Uh, why well, let, let me just say, I, I respect your question, and I don't need a, a lecture or a speech. Here's the thing. I have a complete respect for the whole Me Too movement. I have four daughters and one son, and uh, there's a lot of excitement around the idea that women will be heard and be listened to. There is also due process, and uh, the fact that Joe Biden is Joe Biden. So what you hear there right off the top is Pelosi being asked a question about Tara Reid and she cuts the asker off saying, I don't need a lecture, which is basically Pelosi saying to the media, to everyone watching, who are you to explain anything to the great Nancy Pelosi? I am so far better than you. You have no right or no need to lecture me. I need to learn nothing. I am Nancy Pelosi. But beyond that, she goes into the idea that it's good women are being heard and believed more and more, but that Joe Biden is Joe Biden. And from that point, she jumps off for the next minute or so, and I don't play it all here, to say that Biden is a man of decency and honor and character. He's a progressive, and she has no reservations in supporting Joe Biden regarding this story. But that line... Joe Biden is Joe Biden rips the mask off in terms of how Democrats, at least corporate Democrats, are approaching the situation. What that's saying is that because Joe Biden is our guy, he's on our team, he's part of our tribe, because Joe Biden is Joe Biden, he's innocent. There's nothing wrong with Joe Biden and anybody, including Tara Reid, that says anything bad about Joe Biden is lying or is mistaken or is misinformed, or is a Russian asset, or whatever, but because, but Joe Biden is Joe Biden, and so Joe Biden is good. If Joe Biden wasn't Joe Biden, then maybe Joe Biden would be bad, but we don't have to worry about that, guys, because Joe Biden is Joe Biden. He wears a blue tie, he's got a little D next to his name, he was Obama's VP, Joe Biden is Joe Biden, and Joe Biden is good. It's such a tautology, this perverse tautology, which is that he's a good guy, so he can do nothing bad. And anything that suggests otherwise is fake, because why would it be true? Joe Biden is Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a great guy. And this is what Chris Hayes was warning about. I covered that in my video this morning, where Chris Hayes said, in this era where we try to believe women more, it doesn't necessarily mean that we believe every claim by every woman 100%. What it does mean, however, is that when somebody brings up a claim against the person we support, that we don't simply as a reflex or impulse reject that claim. That's what it's about. We don't simply base whether we believe someone or not based on the political or social or economic effects it has on us and those like us. Put another way, you don't necessarily have to believe Tara Reid. I do, but you shouldn't just reject it because she's talking about Joe Biden. And similarly, if you were a Trump supporter or you were a Brett Kavanaugh supporter, you shouldn't simply reject claims levied against them simply because they're on your side. The point is, reject tribalism in this moment. Do not allow yourself to either accept or reject claims, very serious claims, based on your political or social or economic affiliation. And when Nancy Pelosi says Joe Biden is Joe Biden, that is exactly 100% without any nuance. That's what she's doing. She's saying Joe Biden is Joe Biden. She might as well be saying Joe Biden's a Democrat and Democrats can never do any wrong and Democrats are always great. So 
I don't have to listen to Tara Reid. I don't need the media lecturing me. I don't need to learn anything here. I don't need to second guess anything here. I'm Nancy Pelosi and that's Joe Biden and Joe Biden is Joe Biden and Joe Biden is good. That's the approach here. It's the very thing Chris Hayes was warning about. It's the very thing a lot of people that are calling for nuance on this story are warning about. And that's what Nancy Pelosi, one of the highest ranking Democrats, the Speaker of the House, a very respected person amongst the Democratic establishment, at least, is doing here. And it also ties into this boys will be boys argument. That's what I get. A lot of people on Twitter were noting it, that the Joe Biden is Joe Biden. It can be connected to the boys will be boys. Maybe saying, you know, Joe Biden's Joe Biden. Sure, he's a little creepy around young women and around girls. Sure, Joe Biden does things that other people would never get away with. Sure, maybe Joe Biden was awful to women like Tara Reid. But Joe Biden is Joe Biden, guys. He's great. He was Obama's VP, guys. He's great. He did some good things for women sometimes in an abstract sense. He's great. He's Joe Biden. He's Joe Biden. That's the approach here. It's really a travesty. Whether or not, again, you believe Tara Reid, because I do. But even if you don't, this line of dialogue from Nancy Pelosi should make you shudder. Because one, it makes me worry about the future of the ability of women to be believed when it's politically inconvenient to be believed. But also, this is not going to work. This is already getting lambasted by everybody on social media, and it's only going to create further backlash against Biden and Pelosi and anybody in the Biden wing of the Democratic Party. This is something that we have to face much more directly. The story's not going away. We need to hear directly from Joe Biden on it, and people need to have a much more frank and less hypocritical discussion when this story is brought up. Nancy Pelosi in this approach not only showed that she's a hypocritical feminist at best, but it underlined again just how out of touch she and the corporate Democrats are. It goes back to her ice cream story. Here's my $24,000 fridge or my two $24,000 fridges. Here's my gourmet ice cream while people are going without basic necessities during this crisis. Isn't it a struggle if I ran out of ice cream and here lecturing the media and saying Joe Biden is Joe Biden. So there's no need to cover this story. It shows these people are out of touch. And unless there's a real intervention to replace Joe Biden, they're going to lose in November. And the rich Democrats, the rich and wealthy and well-connected Democrats, they won't face the consequences of another four years of Donald Trump. Working class people will.